get a lot of phone calls about duty cycle. Customers don't understand exactly what duty cycle means. What it is, is the measurement of the welder's performance over a 10 minute cycle. So the Australian standard calls for a 10 minute at 40 degrees. It's a measurement of the machine's performance over a 10 minute period calculated at 40 degrees centigrade. So in Australia, you know, ambient temperatures, summer, winter, they play a bit of an effect on how, how the machine can perform. So in the cooler months, the machine will perform for longer. And in the hotter months, or in you know, outback Australia, in the middle of the desert, the performance of the machine is somewhat compromised. So you've got a 10 minute period, 40 degrees C. So a duty cycle is a measurement of time at a particular amperage. And the time is expressed as a percentage on the specification plate of a welder. So a DIY welder, a, a smaller welder, would potentially have a 20% duty cycle at the maximum amperage of the machine. So for example, might be 150 amps. For two minutes, is 20% of 10 minutes. So that means for two minutes, the machine can weld non-stop at 150 amps. So if it was 30% at 150 amps, it would mean three minutes at 150 amps. The duty cycles, it's an indication of the machine's performance over that 10 minute period. Another quoted duty cycle on the specification plate is what amperage can the welder weld at for 100% of the time? So for a full 10 minutes, so non-stop. So what it might mean is on that same welder, it quotes 100% at, might be 60 amps. For 100% of the time, which is 10 minutes, the temperature is 40 degrees, you can weld non-stop at 60 amps. So that might mean a 2.4 millimeter electrode or a small MIG wire a 0.8 gasless MIG wire. That machine can weld non-stop, 10 minutes and start again, keep going 100% of the time. You can weld and weld and weld all day long at 100% at that duty cycle. So for example, if you're just welding up a car panel, you know, a lot of small tacking, you're not really doing long runs, the, the plate thickness is really small, a machine with a, a lower duty cycle is more than adequate to do that. But if you're welding long structural beams that support buildings and steel girders and structural steel work, you'd want the machine to have a much higher duty cycle.